Hey guys, it's Rachel, and today I am back. We are going to plant the week in my B6 Salogy, and we are going to use a gorgeous kit from Harriet Wright Designs. Now, I can't remember whether or not this was a mystery sub, or whether or not I got it in a grab bag. One of the two it will be, because I don't typically buy Harriet Wright Designs kits um, from the website, you know, just organically. I normally get them when there's a grab bag sale on or something like that. Not for any particular reason, it's just the way that it ends up working out. But anyway, I've decided to use this one which is called Gather and is obviously an autumn pumpkin themed one because we are at the end of September um, and the weather has got a bit cooler, it's been raining, things like that and I want to use all spooky kits in October which then will take me to November and I will be in winter kits I think I might get maybe one or two but I wanted to get this used um uh, before I before I drop into my um spooky kit so yeah we'll get this used up and we have got nine full boxes we have got some bottom washi some headers and some date covers we've got some functional boxes we've got an extra box there some functionals and some checklists now I do think that there was more to this kit and I think that I must have de the bits that I didn't want I think that's what I've done I think I remember that there was a full sheet of page flags there was some clear header overlays with leaves on um, and I think there's some leaf checklists and I'm not really bothered about those so I did de them we're gonna go with this I have decided I think that I am going to try a cousin layout again um, so this is how this week turned out. Oh, that's the week before. So I was using the Bake Off kit from the Bake Off bundle from uh, my planning world. Really loved how it turned out. <laughs> Plants vs Zombies. We were being very productive that day. So yeah, there was a few days where I wasn't sort of using it too much. <gasps> uh, I've ordered a look. How do you say that? El Rohir leather. I've ordered an El Rohir leather cover for my A6 journal, which you guys don't see very often on this channel. Um, I was going to show you the cover of it. I am actually because I made a vinyl that I absolutely love. Oh, I just wobbled the thing, didn't I? Sorry. So yeah. Oh, how gorgeous is that? And it's going to go in my El Rohir leather. It feels weird. El Rohir. I'll row her. I'll row her. Sorry if I'm not saying that right. But anyway, yeah, it's eight to ten week wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Anyway, we got on the uh, Netflix hype train where everyone was watching the Denzel Washington film Man on Fire. Very good. So yeah. Anyway, that's last week. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, so I'm a bit behind. And I know that you're all thinking, Rach, where have you been? I know I've been absent uh, for about ten days, I think. So apologies for that. We'll get into that in a bit. I'm fine though, don't worry about me. I will be just fine. So, let's get started. Let's get this washi down, let's do, oh no, hang on, what did I say? Yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a cousin layout. So this is not a cousin sized kit, but we are gonna do a cousin layout because, because we're on Wednesday already, Monday and Tuesday have gone. Um, I've not got too much going on this week. I've got an appointment on Friday, but aside from that, I'm not gonna have too much to do. So what I do when I'm doing the cousin layout is I line up the Monday with the line that's down here, line up the Wednesday with, whoops, the line that is down here, and then I just put the Tuesday in the middle, roughly, and then that's enough space to give me my columns so yeah there we go but anyway where have I been where have I been so um yeah my last video I think was pre-recorded as well was it my collab no it wasn't it was the baker's gonna bake wasn't it but anyway yeah I've had a bit of a break from YouTube and social media in general because I was just feeling a bit burnt out I felt like I needed um, just to breathe a little bit. I've had quite a bit going on in my life. This is not a sob story. I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm fine. Life happens to everybody. You know what it's like. Um, and lately, I just feel like I've had so much going on, so much bad news. Um, I'm not going to go too much into things that have happened just because I don't want to drag anybody down. But at the same time, I do quite enjoy being honest with you guys and filling you guys in on what's gone on in my life. Um... So yeah, we started off with Brian not being very well. He went into hospital again, which I always find hard because I love him very much. 
Um, and then I had, so this is, um, oh, I don't know what I want to say. This is something that happened at the same time as when Brian went into a hospital. Um, a family member that I love very much got diagnosed with cancer. A close family member as well, not just, you know, immediate family, I will say. Um, so that just broke my heart. We don't know the severity of that. I mean, the thing for me, I don't know how many people know this about me, but I've always been quite open about it, but I lost my dad at 15 to cancer, and I found out that he had cancer on the Friday, and by the Sunday he was gone. So when I hear that word, it's not good. I don't think, as much as we are being told that it's, that it's early stages and that this is going to be, how did they say it? It's not, it's a cure. They are, they are aiming for a cure. They are hopeful that everything's going to be out. Anyway, let's not do this. Um, so that, and then my nan, who has always suffered with her eyes for as long as I can remember being a kid. She's always had something to do with her eyes. They've been bloodshot or sore. She went for an appointment for her eye and she's had a bleed behind the eye. So that was something else. And then last week um, I had my own little health scare. I'm absolutely fine. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm not going to say any more than that. Um, but yeah, so my brain sort of last week just went, nope. We're not dealing with any more of this and I just couldn't, I just couldn't function. I was just so absent and, um, yeah, I just wasn't here. I just wasn't here and as much as I can come on here and I can, you know, probably fake it and be all like, oh yeah, rainbows and, I know I said rainbows and sausages and I'm a vegetarian, I don't really like sausages. You know, rainbows and unicorns and all of that jazz, pretend that everything's okay. I wasn't okay, so I didn't do it. <laughs> But I am fine now, I'm fine now. We grow and we get over things, don't we? So everything just seemed to happen at once. You know what? I like to think of myself as a glass half full kind of girl. And like, you know, I'm quite happy and chirpy and I just get on. I feel like life has always thrown quite a lot at me. I lost my dad young. I had quite a few health issues as I was growing up. Oh, sorry about that. I had a coughing fit and I think I've hopefully managed to edit it all out. I must have done because it was really bad. Um, but yeah, I can't remember what I was saying. Yeah. Um, so I feel like I've always had quite a bit of bad things happening in my life. I'm not giving you a like a woe is me, you know. It's just life. It happens. Um, and for the most part, I still manage to be like quite positive and that life is okay and you just get on you know you have to take what life throws at you and it shapes you into the person that you are and I want to be a happy person so I do try but last week I struggled very much so so yeah I took a little break for me um and a few of you noticed I was gone and messaged me and asked me if I was all right which is really sweet and I appreciate that very very much I am fine I'm going to be fine now I'll get over it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm very lucky to have some really good friends and family who um, check in on me and look after me. And you guys as well. It makes me feel so nice when you guys remember about me and check in. I really, really appreciate it. Not that I expect it because you guys have all got your own lives going on with equally as crazy stuff going on in it, I'm sure. But you know what I mean? We're all just here for each other is what I mean. So yeah, that's where I have been. But I am back and I'm fine, honestly. I am fine. Don't worry about me. I promise you guys that I will always come back. I will never disappear and just disappear. If there ever comes a time where YouTube is not going to be for me anymore, I will let you know about it. I won't just go MIA, I promise. So if you notice that I disappear for a few days at any point, know that I will always come back. Because I do love this this little this little channel, this little community that we've uh, that we've cultured. So anyway, during my absence, how have you guys been? I hope you're all well. Hope you're all doing okay. I'm feeling a bit chirpier today as well because the sun is out. And we've had so many days of rain and it's been really, really miserable. And that doesn't help you mood either, does it? But um, I'm very lucky because Paige's friend uh, lives on the next street to us 
and her mum and I are obviously friends now so I managed to get a lift when it's raining which is super nice of her I don't expect it but I do very much appreciate it so that's good I don't get too soggy <laughs> so that yeah right so so that is the basic layout that I'm going with for the cousin and that is how I've set it up. So Monday and Tuesday have now gone, so I'm not too fussed about what I put over here, um, which is why I've put my trackers here and I am going to put my two other trackers there as well for medication and skincare. And I'm not bothered that that means that I've taken up space for Monday because like I said, Monday has already been don't particularly think we did too much on Monday either. Chris and I have been playing Plants vs Zombies. I had to laugh. So we're not huge gamers, um, but we do enjoy a video game. We always have. Chris more than me. But anyway, the other day, the kids were at school and he was like, Monday, the kids were at school and he was like, um, oh, do you fancy shooting? So we sometimes do like double on Call of Duty. So I said, yeah, if you fancy, if you fancy. I'm not very good, but you know, I, I make the effort, I go on. And um, I went to the loo and when I came downstairs he put Plants vs Zombies on <laughs> and the kids weren't even here. And I was like, oh, you mean this? He was like, yeah, what did you think? And I was like, I thought you meant Call of Duty. So we legit spent most of Monday um, morning on Plants vs Zombies and it was so much fun. We were just laughing our heads off. It was so much fun. Uh, but yeah, so that's Monday. I suppose we should put that down really, unless I just miss the day out completely and just leave her. I am. Do you know what? I'm not going to put anything down on Monday. I'm just going to put a full box down. It's been and gone. I don't need to put it on. And we also played Plants vs Zombies on Tuesday, so I can put that down on Tuesday. And that will make me remember the fun that we had playing it. I don't need to put it on both days. But I am going to put a full box down on here as well. This is adorable. Let's put this one down. I love all the, like, autumnal coloured pumpkins and things that you can get. You get them as deco in a lot of shops now, don't you? You know, like home bargains and places. This kit is stunning, absolutely stunning. Anyway, let's write Plants v Zombies on here. I'm going to write it on quite a large box. Um, let's do it on this one. And we can put that down there. So yeah, Paige, I think Paige got him back into it again. He was a little bit, she was a little bit obsessed with it. Um, and when she gets home from school, she likes to have like half an hour on a video game as a treat. So we do that. And I think she's got him, um, she's got him hooked on it again, which is just so funny. And then we did have a subway yesterday. Oh guys, it was absolute garbage. I was so, so disappointed. So we ordered um, two of the meal deals, which were £10 each. And then we ordered nachos and then chicken bites and those potato things. And the nachos were garbage, the potato things were missing, the chicken bites were missing, but the thing that made me laugh the most out of it was, is how they told us that there was items missing, was they just folded up an A4 piece of paper, and in scribbly writing that looked like a teenager had done it, and probably had been a teenager had done it, it just literally like scrawled across it, and I really struggled to read it, said, sorry, the bites and the, um, what are they called? They're like, they look like crisps, but they're like potatoes. Anyway, what are they? We're missing. And no like, oh, we'll refund you, no nothing. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. So I rang up the store. And the, I spoke to the manager who had no idea what I was talking about. I said, oh, there was things missing from our order. And he was like, yeah, we don't deal with that. You need to go to Uber Eats. To be fair, I went on the Uber Eats app and I very quickly managed to get a refund for the bits that were missing. I didn't ask for the other stuff missing, uh, refunded, because we had it. But it was just crap anyway. It was so, so rubbish. I had the fake chicken, you know, you can get a, a chicken, like, salad, but it was, what did they call it? They had a really funny name for it. But it was, it was absolute garbage. It was horrible. Never again. Never, ever again. And I was really annoyed because I didn't want that. I wanted something with chips. And Chris was like, no, let's get a Subway. £30 and it was just not worth it. Okay, so that is the first two days of the week down. So I do have an appointment on Friday, which is the 1st of October. I'm going to have my implant out finally. I have the contraceptive implant in my arm. Um, I'm just going to put doctors. Yeah, I have the contraceptive implant in my arm and 
I was supposed to get it out and then I didn't because they used to take it out at my doctor's but now they don't now they take it out at the walk-in centre um, which is quite far away from me and then Covid happened so I couldn't get an appointment so I finally remembered to ring them up the other day and she said to me when did you have it in and I was like oh I don't know I can't quite remember I know they're only active for three years though so I did go on the pill when I was supposed to so don't worry about that and she looked on my form and she was like you've had that in for six years I was like whoopsie so is it gonna hurt really bad to get it out and she was like no it can you still see it at the surface of your arm which I can. Um, so she was like, yeah, you should be fine. <laughs> so I am dreading it. I am so, so scared. I really hope it doesn't hurt because I'm a wimp. And there's a little cafe in our walk-in centre and Chris is like, oh, we can have breakfast in there. And I'm like, I'm not eating anything until afterwards when we come out because I think if I eat before I have it done, I will barf all over the poor nurse who does it. And I don't want to do that. So yeah, something that I am not looking forward to. Right then, let's get this video written down. I'm going to do my B6 Stology plan with me. And I have also just filmed a What's in My Bag. Not sure when I'm going to put that up. Hopefully sometime this week. Um, it's been a while since I filmed one. Last time I filmed one, I think we were in lockdown. So there wasn't too much interesting stuff. But I was rifling through my bag looking for my uh, buds this morning. Um, and it took me ages to find them. And I thought, oh, my bag is so stuffed full of stuff. And then I thought, oh, that would be a good time to show you guys a, a proper authentic what's in my bag. Like what I actually carry around me. Because I can't do with these what's in my bag videos that are online. Where you can very clearly see that they've put all the fancy stuff in their bag that they just want to show you because they you know they've got something expensive um or designer and it's not actually a used everyday bag so yeah you should hopefully get that from me soon as well let's find a youtube sticker then and then we can mark down that i've just filmed these two videos i'm running out of youtube stickers i need to order some more do you have these ones but they're not the right colourway? I thought that I had some plain ones that were just white. Um, let's do a clackerboard. These ones are from Happy Sherpa Papery and it kind of goes the right colourway. And then I'm going to put down a header and then I'm going to leave the rest of that because that is the day that we are currently on. I'm not sure if I'm going to film another video after this. I might just edit them. Make sure I get one up for you guys today. Um, let's put some more full boxes down. There's some beautiful full boxes here. I'm going to use this one. I think this one might be my favourite out of all of them. Or that one. I think that one was my favourite. So let's put this one down here at the bottom. Um, I did also want to put a shopping sticker on there. Because I went to... I've put Aldi and it wasn't Aldi, you know, it was Asta, but never mind. There we go. Uh, Friday, my doctor's appointment. Sunday, I need to put down my shop and scan. Do we have a race on Sunday? I am not sure. <gasps> All of you guys that messaged me about the race as well, because I was absent and you were like, oh, I hope you're okay. Um, and everything's alright. Are you still watching the race? I was still watching the race. Oh, I'm a Lewis fan. As you know, I have his hat. He is my favourite. But I wanted Lando to win that race. Poor Lando. And I keep seeing his little sad face on social media. And I just want to go and give him a hug. I just want to go and give him a hug. How old is he? Is he... Is he 19? He's young, isn't he? He's just a baby. Now, I'm nearly 40. So when I say I want to give him a hug, I mean as his mum. I want to give him a little huggy. And just make him a, a cosy tea and just tell him that everything's going to be all right. Because his little sad face on social media is just making me sad. But he will get his time, won't he? What an amazing drive from him. And even Lewis said at the end that um, he resisted his team orders at first and didn't come in to change those tyres. But it was just such, just such a shame. And the beginning of the race as well, Charles, um, was it Signs? It was Sainz, wasn't it? It wasn't Leclerc. Um, Carlos Sainz getting straight in there to, to P1 was just such a good move. He did really well. But anyway, I'm going on with myself. I digress. Let's have a look then. So, 
So she, 8th to the 10th, no, so it's the week after, so we have got no race on Sunday. So I think date dots then, and then that takes me, um, that takes me to the end of the week. I want to put a to-do list on, and I'm going to put it on Thursday. Because I do have a couple of to-dos that I want to do. In fact, actually, no, I'm going to use it all for the rest of today, just in case. I don't know. I don't think I'll have anything else to put on there. I've not got any other plans apart from school one. So I'm going to put that down there, and I can put some to-dos on it. Not very exciting to do, just clean the kitchen and that type of uh, shenanigans. I could have used that one, couldn't I? Are these removable? Oh, they might be, they might be. Are they removable or was that sticker just being nice? Oh, maybe not. Oh, now this is going to rip. This is ripping. Don't make a hole, please. That's fine. Let's move this up, cover all that up. There we go. Perfect. Right, okay. So, date dots and then we are done, I think. And I think it's going to have to be my beloved Fire of Fabulous Gold date dots. I have just ordered some more of these. Um, I ordered them last night and they usually come quite quickly, actually. Fire of Fabulous usually does have fast shipping. Oh, shall I use these instead? Let's use these instead because I do quite like the paint stripe. So I know it's the first on Friday. Because I remember that's when that appointment is. So we need the second and the third. Oh, these are not great. So we've got our date dots down and that is us done. I'm really loving how this has turned out. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Just mark off my skincare there. It looks, looks gorgeous. I love this kit. Reminds me how much that I love Harriet Wright Designs kits. I don't know why I never go on there and order normally. I always order when I see that she's done sale. I think the trouble with me is if it's a shop that's not on Etsy, and I totally understand why shop owners move to Shopify, I believe the Etsy fees are just stupid. Um, but if it's not on Etsy, I forget about shops. I must get better at that. I need to write a list in here of shops. Anyway, I will show you what I have got left. So I've still got four full boxes. I might possibly put another one down here or maybe one here. If not, that will go into my PP Weeks. I've got a full box there, some checklists and some icons and things. I've got lots of functionals left and I've got a bit of washi. But that is going to be it from me. If you like this video, if you can give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe, I love you forever and I'll see you soon. Bye!